A Simple Crease Fly by Brad Buzzy. Attach your thread to any long shank hook. Make sure you lay down a good thread base. Apply some head cement to your wraps. For the tail on this fly, we're going to use a combination of kinky fiber and angel hair. Other things you could use is SF blend or just straight bucktail with a little flash. When you attach your tail, make sure you keep all the material on top of the hook shank. We're trying to build up a bigger base to attach our body. One nice thing about synthetics, if you don't know what color the fly is going to be, tie them in white because you always can use a marker to color them up. Now we'll just put a whip finish in and we're done with the tying. For the body of my crease flies, I like to use sticky foam. You'll see why a little bit later. The body of a crease fly is typically a teardrop shape with the top of it cut off. Here I use a plastic template that I use a long pair of scissors to cut out. Once I get a good shape, I transfer it onto a piece of plastic and now I can cut that same pattern over and over. Now I'll take the body, fold it in half, put it up to the fly, mark the length of it with my fingernail, and cut it to length. Just remember to test fit it before you apply the glue. I like to use the green Zappa Gap. For all of my crease flies, it just seems to be the one that works the best for me. To glue the body on, I'll put a drop of glue up top and pull it down. I'll do that on each side. Just remember, do not need a lot of glue. I'll put the body over the nose of the fly and just pinch the bottom seam together at the nose, pinching upwards. After a few seconds, the nose should be sealed. You'll be able to flip the fly over, grab the fly back at the nose, and also grab the tail and the back of the body of the fly and you, now you'll be able to position the fly so that the bottom edge just wraps over the hook shank. Once the fly has been sealed, you can remove the outer backing. Just remember, the fly is going to be sticky now. If everything worked okay, you'll be able to move the tail freely inside the fly. Now we'll put two eyes on the fly, one on each side. Now we will cover the fly with some pearl buzzfly foil. This foil only sticks to what is sticky. The foil has two sides, a shiny side and a dull side. Just make sure you put the dull side down, touching the sticky foam. Once the fly is covered, squeeze it a little bit to make sure you adhere the foil to the fly, and then remove the foil. As you can see, it only sticks to what is sticky. To add some color and some detail to the fly, we use permanent magic markers. I like to use the Sharpies. Since we used a synthetic fiber for the tail, we can color that tail with a marker. The Kinky Fiber or SF Blend takes a marker very well. Mm -hmm. 
Now we'll take a red sharpie to make the gills of the fly. I'd like to do one on each side and I'd like to make a little tick mark on the bottom. I'll take the sharpie to color the inside of the front of the fly and I'll also color the leading edges of the fly. It just makes it look a lot nicer. I like to add a lateral line by just putting some dots down each side of the fly. To add a little bit more detail, I'll put some zigzag lines along the top portion of the fly. This is really good if you don't spend a lot of time on it and just do it quickly and haphazardly. I always say the more coffee you have in you, the better. Now we're ready to put a protective coating of epoxy on our fly. I like using either 5 minute or 30 minute epoxy. Since I mix my epoxy with a bodkin, I like to use the bodkin to apply my epoxy. I'll just put a blob of it on and then smooth it out, but I'll end up taking a lot of it off. Any extra epoxy, I'll stuff down the throat of the fly. I'm more interested in getting the epoxy right around the hook shank and not really on the top part of the fly. If you'd like to add a rattle to your fly, just take it and stuff it in the front of your fly into that nice wet epoxy that's in there and cover it with a small piece of foam as a plug. If you didn't add a rattle to your fly, you still can plug the front of it to make it more of a popper and also to add a little bit more body and shape to the front of the fly. There you have it, a very simple but effective crease fly. If you need more information, you can contact me at buzzfly.com or visit the Atlantic Saltwater Fly Routers page at aswf.info.